What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me both places. It's time to get this reaction video started. y'all some of y'all asked did you stop watching the Mahabharat no way I ain't gonna stop watching that I am into it although last week you know I had to watch, stop a lot of things and even uploading my normal everyday videos because they had the hurricane hit New Orleans and and I'm here with my little two-year-old taking nephew taking or cousin but I he's almost like a nephew taking care of him and and by myself here and my and the rest of my family's in New Orleans rebuilding their home so it's just been a lot but I am not starting to watch this and I finished season two had to talk about it let's let's talk about what's going on in it y'all ready to get this the season two I think is episode 13 through like 20 left review let's get it started so last we left off Pandu became the king of Hostin, what is it? How you call it? Hostin Puri? He became the king and he married Kunti. Well, here it picks up. As soon as he marries Kunti, they're going to have problems. Problems arise and he got to go to war. He don't even have a wedding night. He Pandu's off going to war. Of course, he's going to have his brother by his side. He's going to have his brother because his brother knows how to fight. The blind, the blind king, right? The blind, he knows how to fight. So he's like, I'm going to have my brother here on my side, strategic. So he wins off the war. Yeah, leaves Kunti on a wedding night. He wasn't even playing around. He's like, this is what I got to do for my country. I can't be selfish, which I got to admire Pandu for that. But also, I was like, you just got married. You're going off to war, but you got to leave your heir. I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't. Although he came back, right? He came back. They, I guess they won the war. He came back. Then he comes back. I was getting mad at Pandu right here. Then he comes back with another bride. I was like, you didn't even have time with Kunti, your first bride. And you come back with another bride that you, I guess, like you did so well protecting in the war that the guy, that what, he gave his daughter to him and everything. I, can't, I know he can't not accept it. Kunti, she is class actor. Because she was this like, I'm going to greet her, do my little thing like this, and, and welcome them, even though I wouldn't be happy. You didn't even get a wedding when I, you didn't even get to be a bride for a while, a new bride, and already you got a second bride. I'm just saying I would be upset. I don't know how Conti felt good, but you could tell she was hurt. One thing, that blind king came back with a new, turned over a new leaf, didn't he? He came back and, and first Pandu was praising him on his efforts. That made him feel good. You can tell that made him feel good. He's like, he's I, I'd like to thank my brother who we couldn't have won this without. And you can tell that just lifted up his spirits. Then he went to see, like he turned over New Leaf. He was like, he went to go see Gandhari. And he was like, I'm sorry for everything, Gandhari. I'm going to be a new husband and all that. And we're going to have babies, all their hundred babies. They're supposed to have all that. And I was like, oh, he's... Everything seems nice with him again. He's turned over a new leaf and nice to his wife. I love Gandhari. She's so sweet. So I was happy about that. But I'm still mad at the Pandu. I was still mad at him because I was like, Pandu, you, because that bride he brought, like, she seems, she was beautiful. Wasn't that, that bride he brought, Ma, Ma, Madri, is that her name? Madri. She is a gorgeous thing. She is beautiful. But Conti's beautiful too. But they seem like that, that Madri seemed like she just was kind of, I don't know what it, you know what, young, she was young and just kind of like, right away, she kind of like, well, I'm the prettier one. <laughs> then she kind of say that to Kunti. So he marries her, but then she's going to be the cause of all their problems, it seems, doesn't she? First, they're doing a little ride and, and she sees, she, they're doing a little ride together, Kunti and Pandu and her, and she's going to be like, go shoot that, that deer, remember? Go shoot that deer. And and first Kunti's like, well, don't shoot the deer. Remember, she's trying to tell him not to. And Pandu gonna show off for his new bride. He wants to go show off. So he goes and chase it, shoot the new deer. And what is it? This is the start of all his problems. I even have a clip of that. Oh, I might get mad just watching it again. <laughs> I might. Cause he went off and she was on shoot that new shoot that deer. And he was gonna do it for her when Kunti's telling him, his first wife telling him he shouldn't. Let's watch. 
watch this together. Y'all ready to watch this? Let's go. Here he goes. We got one to show off. He's got a nice bow. Look at him. He's looking for it. Don't do it, him. I wish he missed. There it is. Oh, look. Look at him. right away. That wasn't no deer. I didn't know about these sages and they take animal forms. I didn't know nothing about it. But look at that. That's because... I told you, Pandu. I told him not to shoot that deer. And that guy, oh, he's upset because they were making that. That was the siege and... And he's sorry he did it. We know he's sorry. What do you think that's going to do? What do you think that's going to do? Oh, and she said, oh. We know you're sorry, Pam Do, but you should have listened to Kunti with this. You didn't want to hear it either. I wouldn't want to either. You gave him that curse now, right? He cursed him. He's like, you can't have, you can't make love to ever again. That was his curse. Look at him. He can tell the people. Oh. That was sad. Oh, he did show this to my thing. He should know right now that not not to be following that that wife that's the young wife but madri because she just gets him into no good trouble right i mean you gotta feel sorry for pandu but he should have known better he should have listened to kunti she was telling him she was telling him not to shoot that he should listen to kunti not just trying to show off at a new wife i was upset i was then what it, then i now i know he did the right thing because he's got to repent. And they were trying to tell him he's going to go off into the forest and, and and exile himself and not and step down as the king and take his family and live out there to repent. Now, I could see that because he did a major, major thing right there, killing that. So I could see that's just tormenting his soul, right? I can see that. And they were all trying to stop him. But I, even then, I was like, well, Pandu, like you, I know they need a king. And who's going to fall back on the blind king? Although he's got turned off all over this new leaf. You never know because you know how his roots are. <laughs> you know how his roots can be. But he went off and, and took. Now, that's what that Madrid gets. <laughs> she would think she's going to live the, the luxury life in the palace. Now they in exile. And he's got that curse, Pandu, that he can't have any kind of relations with his wife like ever again or he would die so now he can't have an heir well good thing here comes Kunti to save the day here she comes save the day she's like I got this what was it the boon from the gods and I got this special thing I can go to the gods and ask them for a son so she saved the have them right there she first went and asked for the first child remember and she's like I want the, the first one and and that was, what is that? It starts with a Y, that, that kid's name. Then they had the beam. I always remember the beam. I remember, and then beam, and then they had the Arjun. I don't know why, Arjun's my favorite. I think because I took that little quiz. And it said I most like the Arjun out of all the Mahabharata characters. I think that's why. And I was like, ah, oh, then now he's my favorite. But anyway, she, good thing she had one of those boons, right? And, and they have kids for him, but he can't have no relations with them or he's gonna die. Back at the castle, there's the blind king taking over the throne again because Pandu done left and he turned over a new leaf. He's loving his wife and she's pregnant, but then he starts getting mad, remember? Because like she's pregnant for like two years. You're like, how is she pregnant this long? Then she has the birth because she went through some stuff. She started beating her belly 
And she had a birth of like this flesh. It was just a pile of flesh. And I was like, oh no, not. Cause she's been through so much her. She is pork and Darby. I always feel sorry for her. She's all she wants to do good and be a good wife and a good person. And and she just, oh, her poor Gendari. But she gave that birth to that flesh. But what did they find out? They cut it in like a hundred pieces. Well, 101 because they were like, well, we're going to give you a daughter too, right? They was like, we're going to give you a daughter. I was like, oh, Gendari needs a little daughter too. And they cut up. Then they put it in that cave and they had all these, it looked like cocoons or something. With all their sons, all a hundred in that cave and then what happens then he's happy but they had the birth of the first one what is his name Durian Dahan and that seemed like a bad omen it was like a bad omen because all stuff happened with his birth you already watched this little thing with me it might maybe it'll show it let's go ready go Birth another one first cocoon. But then all that bad remember they There he goes with the son and they want him to kill the first son, right? They were like, kill him because this is a bad omen. You got 99 more sons. And this one's gonna be this one is no good. The the, the guys are telling you something's wrong with this one. They wanted to kill him. But look, he's still I mean, inside you saw that little baby and you were like, you don't do it. Like I was, I was like, but then you got to know, like, that's a bad omen. And what would you do? You have 99 others. If he was the second kid, do you think he would have done it? I don't know. If he was the second baby born, but he was like even the first, which made it even harder. Oh, my heart broke for him too. That was that was a tough decision. He was gonna do it. Oh boy. I mean, I told y'all I I done finished this and started the third one. I already know what happened with with P and Do out in the forest. Them out in the forest. I couldn't stop watching. But well, later this week I'll give more reviews on on the season three because this was the end of season two so season three we're gonna start getting into it but i'm not stopping on this y'all as you stopped watching these i was like oh no these are too good i'm be watching it i just been crazy busy but listen we're gonna finish all this and we <laughs> i mean i can't stop and it's just too good and i i gotta learn all about it all right y'all let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until the next time Mwah!